do do you be, do you guys in the chat actually watch comedy specials? I actually want to know that, or do you just consume comedy podcast content through like detractor stuff like myself that I do? Um, what's his face? Unique snack. Is that like do you actually watch these guys specials or or not? Like <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a lot of these people like do they actually watch specials or they just like decide now nah, fuck that guy I'm not I don't care. Like have have any of you guys actually seen a Joe Rogan special before? Or like a, like a Bill Burr special, or like a Burt Kreischer or Tom Segura. Do you actually watch any of their specials at all? Zero. Um, I have. I think I have all of them. I Weirdly enough, as somebody who I kind of tend to not like as a person, I actually, actually think Burt Kreischer is legitimately maybe the best stand-up out of that whole group. Cody Fabry followed by, um, obviously, and Tom Segura. Of course, Bill Burr is the, the king, but I think if you're going to talk about that whole small group of guys, I think Burt Crash is actually the best stand-up comedian in terms of actual jokes, like jokes. Like, he's le- actually funny. Like, he actually puts together good jokes. But, you know, the whole T-shirt thing, no no shirt thing, the whole, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, an adult frat boy thing is, is a bit annoying, but Crash is fucking funny but crash is really funny like he can actually write good jokes um but yeah you know as as people are saying in the chat the gimmicks tired people are like him yeah um people are the the rogan's terrible yeah but see no one see i knew it i i got i got the feeling people don't actually watch comedy specials i got the feeling there's not many fans what you say raymond here says stand-up sucks i'm tired of comedians pretending that the format is gold standard funny it's contrived and lame the people in the audience are usually laughing because instead of actually funny exactly i i I don't mind, I don't, you know why I don't, I don't like about nowadays, I just think maybe it's a pod, you know why I think actually, podcasting ruined stand-up comedy, well, stand-up comedy, stand-up comedy, podcasting ruined it, because what podcasting did, is that it made them feel way, way, way more important than what they actually are, it gave them a weird level of self-importance that they never had before, and I feel like ever since that happened, you, we, we've never been able to put that genie back in the bottle, They've just constantly continued on, like they're bastions of free speech, like they're going to change policy, that they're going to affect elections and whatnot, like, and they're actually a mirror to society. It's like, no, like, you're just a guy or a girl on stage talking shit, trying to get paid, keep your bills paid, put your kid through private school and shit. Like, it's just a job like anybody else. And for the most part, like, similar to DJing, that I do, I'm a DJ. It's the lowest, it's the lowest on the rung. Like, DJing is the lowest on the rung when it comes to music, when it comes to live performances, because the entry level is fucking, you know, the bar of entry is fucking on the floor, right? As long as you've got a laptop or even just a smartphone, you can be a, a, you know, you could basically be a DJ. And same with when it comes to comedy, as long as you can actually, as long as you can enunciate at some point, maybe not, but as long as you can speak and you don't mind being on stage and shit, you can basically be a stand-up comedian. So this idea that it's somehow the highest of arts is absolutely bizarre um, for the most part. But I think when comedians weren't podcasting and they were just focused on being funny, like back in the day, like I think of like, I can't think of an era, like maybe they said the 80s or 90s, right? Maybe like a Jim Brewer type time, right? Just before Jim Brewer's era. That era, they were just comedians. Do you know what I mean? Norm MacDonald, just like they were about telling jokes. I'm going to go as far as I can, as dark as I can, as possible but it's just jokes it's not about changing the world again if i if i say something topical and something important cool but it's not about it. it's about just telling fucking jokes but nowadays these guys legitimately think like i don't know man like these motherfuckers are walking around their presidents and shit it's like you, you you motherfuckers need to chill like really need to chill um so yeah podcasts have ruined it it really did and this is coming from someone like myself who's got a fucking podcast who listens to a ton of podcast things so tons of different podcasts and even i can tell over the last few maybe a couple of years my consumption of podcasts has gone down i don't even record my podcast too often as much as I, as much as i was doing it before in the past i'm up to like i'm nearly close to 600 episodes and before i was fucking cranking out four episodes a fucking week I don't listen to it as much as I did prior, and just it's just a bit tiring. Do you know what I mean listen to the same old topic, um, talking points? These guys going on and on about cancel culture, about COVID, about this, about that. It's just right and left. It's just boring, boring. And most of them aren't even funny. Do you know what I mean that's the problem with it as well? Most of them aren't even funny, which is probably why I like. Actually, if you guys need a recommendation, that's probably why I appreciate Dennis and O'Neill. Definitely recommend you check out Danish Don't Know. They probably have one of the better podcasts, I feel like, on um, Danish and O'Neill. 
podcast, right? I feel like they probably have one of the better podcasts out there in terms of just being pure funny. And obviously, Come Town, they're obviously guys who try to be funny um, at all points. But definitely, definitely check those guys out because the rest of it is fucking horrible. So definitely check out those guys. They're definitely one of my favorite ones. But even I've noticed over the last year or so, man, I've stopped even caring about podcasts. I don't even listen to them too much or watch them. Um, I just kind of just avoid it all. And maybe just check out random YouTube videos from here to from here and there. But I feel like most of these guys just ruined it all for themselves. So I don't know. Maybe maybe podcasting did, didn't kill comedy. Maybe it was always meant to go this way anyway. But I feel like the moment these guys started to legitimately think that they could actually change society with the words that they were saying on the stage, I feel like it all went to fucking dust since then. I don't think it's ever going to recover again. Um, and, you know. It's just is what it is, isn't it? Now most of these podcasts are turned into fucking ad platforms anyway to just get deals with Dollar Shave Club and shit. Do you know what I mean? It's just yeah, it's just it's just terrible.